Hey there, everyone. Uh, I'm Eric. Sorry I can't be there in person with you all today. I'm traveling. Uh, but I am excited to share how I've been using Runway to generate videos using artificial intelligence. Um, if you're not familiar, Runway is an online platform with like a variety of generative AI tools. You can do video, you can do images, you can even like train your own model, which I find quite fun. Uh, but I'm going to focus on the video to video tool, which essentially allows you to take a video and then based on an image or a prompt, uh, it can stylize that video. So, so check this out. So um, I have a climbing video. I love rock climbing. So here's a video of me climbing. And say I want it to look like the Starry Night painting. Uh, so it's sort of like climbing through space. Like that'd be quite kind of interesting to me. So what I do is I'll feed Runway a source image. It's like a driving image. In this case, it's going to be the painting. And then I'll also give it my sort of source video, which is me climbing. Uh, and then I'll hit generate, and then bam, I get this sort of remarkable merging of the two videos. Um, and like one thing to point out, I think it's like remarkable how it decided to turn sort of the sun or the circular lights there um, of the painting into like the climbing holes. I have no idea why it decided to do that, but it is like really great. I wouldn't have thought of that. Um, and that is one thing that I get most excited about. It sort of feels like you're in conversation with the tool. Like I'm trying to sort of inspire it to do something and then in turn it does this and inspires me and I feel like I can keep going back and forth um, and like and as a filmmaker that's exciting to me because I don't want AI certainly to make the whole film for me I want it to sort of act like a collaborator that's like kind of a hallmark in my mind of like a great generative AI tool but anyways I digress so let's keep kind of pushing this so um, here I, I'm climbing some flower petals because I've given it this um, image that has a bunch of sort of painted flowers. I love how it's kind of coloring my head and my torso and my legs separately, like how it knew to sort of track that and make those separate is just wonderful. It really like maintains the shape of my body. Uh, here are a few more examples. Maybe you can guess uh, what paintings I fed it. Um, and as I mentioned, as these are going through, you can also use a text prompt. So for instance, instead of feeding it an image, I could have typed, you know, make it 3D or, you know, steam, steampunk finger paint and kind of seeing what it would do. So you don't have to feed it an image. Um, I do want to show you one other sort of example here. My friend Eric Rosenbaum has been using this tool uh, to generate sort of AI worlds with very sort of simple objects in a video. So, so for instance, you're taking a video of some stacks of Legos and a stuffed animal and turning that into like an epic cityscape. Uh, and so here's another one too, you know, with his toddler. So one could imagine where you sort of prototype or build sort of scenes and then start to layer and bring it to life with your prompts too. So I get, I get quite excited about this as well. Um, but maybe that's, maybe I'll wrap there. I just wanna encourage you all to head over to runway.ml to try this out. You know, a free trial gets you, I think 50 seconds of, of videos to generate. Uh, you also find a couple other neat tools there. Uh, they have a text to video, which allows you to sort of generate videos out of nothing using just text. So you just throw in text, uh, which is quite fun. I think you need to have a subscription to use that particular tool though. Um, anyways, I wanna wish you all happy creating and hope you have a good rest of the conference and workshop. Bye-bye. Please, please don't.